Hello, dreadful tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades with me, Blue Inkulo. I'm not sure if we're going to run into the Dreadlord today, but we must be getting fairly close. Unless someone who's played this game before knows that I'm actually like, you know, 10 hours away, but I doubt that. Anyway, we're in floor 3 of the uh, castle of the Dreadlord, and we've done maybe a quarter or a third of it. Uh, about a third of it, I'd say. And uh, we keep hitting traps and secrets and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Good dungeon. We're listening to Final Fantasy IX Worlds Apart, an OC Remix album in the background. Hopefully the volume's okay. Might be a little bit low. I'll turn that up a little bit today. Sometimes the music, like, it's not it's not terribly well normalized. So one song is uh, considerably louder or quieter than the next. So it's tough for me to know for sure if it's drowning me out or, you know, vice versa. Anyway, let's continue. So that was the lightning door from last episode that uh, Shinga did not get uh, disintegrated on. And uh, we had a room full of iron giants to the right, so good. It was a very honest sign. <laughs> a sign on this door reads, Safe paths, path to the Dreadlord. Death lies further on. Was well, it safe or is it death? Come on, make up your mind. Well, I, I've got that itch that I kind of feel like maybe we should you know, buff up a little bit here. We, we made it through one door without triggering any traps. I bet you the next one will have a an attack of some sort, right? Nope. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. Probably nothing to the south, so let's go north while we've got our buffs on. Still no fight. You come upon an ornate door. It is made of brass, embossed in gold, with an open palm. To the side is a silver bust of a Medusa. You are all turned to stone. Within this Medusa's nest of snakes is a keyhole. To place a key in the lock, someone will have to place much of their arm into the Medusa's nest of snakes. No. Uh, that sounds like a terrible idea. And I don't think we have a key, right? Like, I didn't notice picking up any keys. Did we pick up any keys when I wasn't paying attention? I don't remember in this last couple levels of the castle picking up anything. Is there like a... Man, there, there's ice and it's melting, you know. You know the drill by now. Is there like a way into this little section? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything there. I did explore that room fairly thoroughly last episode. Well, I don't see anywhere specifically that I've I've missed anything. I guess we just stick our hands into the nest of Medusa snakes. I'm sure it'll be fine. I would bet that the best person for this is probably Sarius, because he's the thief, and this seems like a good thing for agility, right? Good luck, Sarius. Uh, I didn't know, we didn't even know we had keys, but, um, why don't you just try to pick the lock? I'm sure it'll work. Nope. <laughs> 12 points of damage. The hand on the door closes each of its fingers in response. An iron golem appears for each. Okay. Well, I mean, I just wanted to try using our thief skills. I know we haven't had a lot of success with them traditionally, but, you know, maybe one day our thieving skills will work. Meanwhile, Sarius is now missing his hand. Probably that's why he missed. Come on, fella. You're supposed to get two attacks per turn now. I'm just gonna stay out of the way. Pixel's gonna get hit here. Oh! Well, not bad. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Actually, why didn't she get back attacked there? Shouldn't that golem have tried to hit her from behind when I moved there accidentally? That was odd. Who knows what's going on now? She bewicks them with her looks. Probably. Alright, I finished it off. I do all the work here. Alright, 10k. 
Sirius is getting very close to level up. That's fun. So the door is still locked. Let's read this quickly. Ma the door is made of brass. It is embossed in gold. It has an open palm. To the side is a silver bust of a Medusa. So the Medusas are silver. The door is brass. And it's embossed in gold. With an open palm. I bet you the gold key will do it then. Yeah, okay. Come on, Sirius. I know you got bitten last time, but... Come on, golden key. No. And we get attacked again. Well, my next guess is brass. And if it's not brass, it's obviously silver. And I have no idea why, but... I thought the golden sign of an open palm was the idea that the golden key was beckoning you to open the door or something like that. It made sense to me. Man, these guys, oh, they just hit so hard, it's like 23 damage. Yeah, I just need Valid to tank a bit for Christina there. Delay, maybe. Just back out, actually. Now we'll let these guys in. Alright, well, Christina will live, and the golems will die. Now she wants revenge. I mean, the big problem is, like, once you start outnumbering them, we hit them so easily, uh, they can, like, with an, with an AC of 3 and our Thaco so low, they can barely dodge us at all, so we do start piling up the damage pretty quick. Alright, let's uh, at least do a little bit of uh, healing here. Okay, now it's loud again to me. Okay, let's heal up Christina a little bit. That'll do. Let's try to open this door again. So, gold did not work. Picking the lock did not work. Um, Sirius, you're still the opener, guy. So, I guess we're going to try brass. My idea with brass is because the door is made of brass. Maybe the key that opens the door is brass. Silver? I don't know. Nope. Sheesh. 0 for 3. I have just terrible luck guessing this one. There's not a whole lot of tricks I can do here to make this easier either. It's just a matter of dodging their attacks without taking tons of damage. Like, yeah, like, look how much damage he just took. I'm staying out of the way. There's only two slots open. Good. Now there's no way in. Yeah, I can't get through. I don't think in this situation we could actually use arrows because uh, the arrow itself would have a low magical enchantment, like less than plus three or four. Which means it would just do no damage to these guys, because I'm pretty sure we learned that they took at least a plus three weapon to even damage them. I'm pretty sure like a plus two or a plus one weapon just can't even hurt them, basically, so. Well, Sirius did take a lot of hits, but we managed to keep him alive, just barely. Well, you got your you got your level up for when you go home, when you go back to town. So at least you got that looking to look forward to. Alright, fella, it's your turn to help him out. Cast the heal. Such a good spell. Definitely my favorite clerical spell. Alright, well, we only got one left, so... Come on, Sirius. I wonder if it's, like, because it's him, he can't open it. Well, nope. Silver worked perfectly. Alright. Good enough. A sheet of energy envelops the party. Oh, bad energy. Bad mojo. So that was just a bad room. Don't go in that room, guys. I'm hoping there's like some amazing treasure in one of these. The room contains four iron statues that will totally turn into iron golems. At the base of the closest is an inscription. Well, I suppose we should read it first. I'll read it. 
The runes erupted to a fierce explosion. I was unsuccessful in reading. Fella took some damage and then the statues attacked. Immediately attacked. Wow. Alright, alright. You got me. I tried. I fell for your trap again. I really need to heal uh, Pixel up there. That was really fast. Sorry, Pixel. You're, uh... Well, you're not dead. You're just dying. Now you're, now you're fine. I was not expecting them to just... Walk over and smash him so quick. I was trying to save myself so I could move over and heal him. But I didn't even get a chance. There's not much I can do here. Not much I'm willing to do. I'm staying out of this. Yeah, even Shinga's getting hit, and Shinga has probably the best AC in the group, so... The Iron Golems must have a really, really low Thacko. Like, they hit us so often for so much damage. Alright, well, we win! At a cost. So, uh, Christina, it's your turn. The heal. You got the- you can kill and you can heal. That's it's nice that I've got those two spells right beside each other. Alright, Pixel's back to full health, basically. Wow. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen too many more times. <laughs> Murdered by traps. A magic mouth appears upon this door and says, Our fraternal bonds have unwound and each seeks the other's blood. Who art thou? Is this like a riddle? I'm really good at riddles, guys. Our fraternal bonds. That's, um, fraternity is like male brothers kind of thing. Right? I'm pretty, think, pretty sure. Maternal is mother. Paternal is father. Fraternal, I'm pretty sure, is brotherly. I could be wrong, but I, that's how I remember it anyway. Um, each seeks the other's blood. Who art thou? So, brotherly bonds have broken, and we seek each other's blood. I don't even know. What, what does that mean? Like, who art thou? Who are you? You're the one... It's a riddle. I'm not good at riddles. What do you say? I don't know. Um, brothers that broke their bond? I'm assuming it's brothers. Like, I could be forgetting what that word means, possibly. Um, which would suck. It might just be siblings rather than just brothers. I don't know if there's like a sister's word and a brother's word. It's fraternity. Frat parties. That's like, it's like the old male. I'm sure that's for guys. It's gotta be. That's like the old... You know what that is, right? That's the, all, all the men's only dorms where they have parties and stuff. It's got to be that. So, guys, brothers sort of thing that broke their bonds and now they're at, it's, they seek each other's blood. I, I have no idea. Maybe you're just a vampire because you're seeking blood. I really, I have no idea. You're a vampire. I think the Dreadlord may be asking for his brother's name. Thanks, Vala. That's, you know, really... I mean, yeah, brother I had. I just didn't get that far. I don't know what his name was, though. An eye forms above the mouth. Our blood does not flow within you, yet it may grace the castle floor. Beams streak from the eye. And we take a bunch of damage. The eye fades away, and the mouth speaks again. Our fraternal bonds have unwound. That actually makes sense, because the Dreadlord was brothers with that... Ghost Spirit Dwarf Guy, Silver Blade, and they were trying to kill each other. So that makes sense. I get you, Vala. You did a good job, and thanks for showing up again. The, the crowd always loves it when you're on screen. Um, but I don't remember his name. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's... Hold on. I know how to handle this. I, I don't remember his name. I'm sure I could look it up in the journal somewhere. I haven't looked at the clue book in so long though that I feel like it's fair to look at, a, at the book. We're on uh, third floor here, which is apparently a sanctum. So we're at like 
this one, 16. I'm trying not to read the other stuff. This door poses a riddle. The answer is Oswolf. Yeah, that sounds familiar, but I've taken such a long gap in between recording these that I've, I definitely did not remember his name. So, uh, there you go. It was barely a riddle. It's just more like a test. Did you guys, re did you guys take notes on the main characters in this story? The mouth speaks. Pass, brother. I may yet gaze upon you one last time. Ere your death. Yeah, good thing we got the experience for looking it up. Alright, so we're t we've taken a ton of damage here. I'm gonna save and try the old fix. I haven't been getting any random battles, so maybe we can just heal up? Yeah. Good. But yeah, between the iron golems and the magical traps, we are just getting pummeled. Oh good, Sargatha is back. <laughs> we still haven't dealt with her or the lich, I guess. Sargatha appears. I am afraid that the dread lord is dis indisposed at the moment. You have abused his hospitality. You must be chastised. Christina lights up. Her guards appear and she attacks. Cool, we got a little boss. I should have healed up, I guess. Or, well, I did heal up. I should have, like, buffed up. So Sargatha does not look particularly dangerous. Sorry, Sargatha. We're probably just gonna kill you. Yeah, alright, fella. You know what to do with Medusa. You hit her. That's what I needed. Was that her trying to cast? Or somebody trying to cast? Oh, there's all these priests. Yeah. Let's... Oh, Pixel got hit. I can't cast with Pixel. I have not been able to cast any magic yet. We're gonna have some problems. Okay, I gotta do a magic missile. I'd rather do a fireball here, but a magic missile casts instantly, and I can use that to interrupt this guy. Come on, someone else give me a fireball. Yeah. I need it right now. Thank you, Sarius. Good work, buddy. It looked like it cast instantly as well, but there actually was some time in between those, for sure. Uh, so that... This guy took some damage. This one took damage. It's really just these two that need to be hurt. This should hit everybody, including the boss, so that'll be good. Not including our characters. Not a lot of damage, but it'll interrupt. Kill some... Kill the boss! Not bad, then. Alright, I, I mean, I was kind of hoping I could get a good uh, Cone of Cold off or something, but, um... We just didn't have time. I needed to interrupt those priests. And I need to continue interrupting them now. It's a new turn. Okay, move over. Smack that one. Okay, we still haven't hit the one in the top yet. There we go. Now we've interrupted them all. We should be fine for this round. Hopefully we can finish them off. I love this song. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Freya's theme is so good. Alright, uh, yeah, keep killing these guys. In the rain. Oh, I, f I keep not killing that cockatrice. This can turn something to stone. Could have tried for a backstab. Maybe I should have. Okay, we're going to try delaying Sarius' turn for a backstab here. We're going to delay Pixel later. It's not going to work, is it? I'm going to go straight for this, uh... This guy. There we go. No one gets turned to stone on my watch. Alright, delay again. Hit him. Fine, no backstabs. Um, it's possible Fella might have attacked that one. I don't know. I can't remember what I did on this turn. And didn't work out. Just straight up missing. Wow. 
Straight up. That would have been a backstab if we hit him, but... Oh, now they're surrendering. Kill him before he surrenders! Good work, guys. And gals. Okay, a fair amount of XP. Probably a bunch of stuff we're never gonna pick up. Throw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground. And, uh... The room cleared! You come upon an ornate door. It is made of silver... <laughs> okay. Embossed in gold with a hydra's head. To the side is a brass bust of an umber hulk. So last time the door was made of brass, but it was not a brass key. It was embossed in gold, but it was not the gold key. The side of the brass bust... So this time it's a bust of brass. Last time it was a bust of silver. So we're going to try brass key. Because it matches up with the mandibles. I, I don't know. That's that's my logic. <laughs> I don't... I can't win! I don't know what the trick is. The Hydra's head roars. Something else roars in response. Well, Hydra's aren't that bad. I'd rather fight Hydra's than, like, things that can turn you to stone. Alright, well, there's lots of Hydra's. That's fine. You guys all wanted to watch me kill some Hydra's, right? Yeah, they only do like one damage, like a small amount of damage per hit. Compared to the Iron Golems that did like 20 to 30 damage per hit, this is nothing. Is there nothing else this way? You can kind of cheat like that to look around sort of. Oh look, there it is. I mean you can always look around with the aim manual, just look around the map, see if you missed anything. It's just kind of funny, you can try to move and see. We're actually going to leave that spot open so someone else can get in there. Who has some mobility. Okay, well then, as soon as they attack Valley, they do all kinds of damage. Great. Mm, a little bit of singing on this song, I don't know. Anyway, 5,000 XP. No big deal. I wonder how many times we're going to get 5,000 experience. So, I thought... I thought that the brass thing was going to work. I really... I have no idea at this point. We'll try gold. Nope. Oh, wait. The Hydra growls as the door slides open, not as it attacks. Alright. I don't know why one was brass, one was gold. Uh, maybe I'll never know. Lots of empty looking rooms. There could be stuff in these rooms, but kinda just wanna keep moving right now. Before you stands a warrior dressed in golden armor, wielding silvery weapons. To his left and right are warriors dressed in the Dreadlord's li livery, I suppose. You have no summons. Prepare for death. You have no time to survive. Make your time. Or no, you have no chance to survive. Gotta get the quote right. Um, okay. Does your time has been made, I guess. So we have Dread Guards. The Golden Warrior. Look at this. He's got better stats than most of my guys. A ton of Medusa, some Bainite Priests. Alright, sorry. Singing, gotta stop. And final battle for... Not quite the final battle. Alright, well Shinga... I'd like you to kill that Medusa. We need some fireballs here. Yeah, it's a little bit loud, but we'll we'll leave this run in for now. Oh, this is the fairy battle. I thought it said final. Okay, no. Yeah, Kuja's theme is way cooler. Okay, uh, let's go with this. Okay, so we we gotta interrupt this these priests. Christine would hit herself if she did that. Well, there's only one to the south, or to the lower end, so... Yeah, I'd rather not hit ourselves. The fireballs can do so much damage now. She could hit herself for like 70 damage on a really lucky roll, so... Didn't happen, but it was possible. Ugh! 
Excellent! Wow, fella, you gotta stay alive there, buddy. Um... How am I gonna keep everybody alive here? The Golden Warrior is dangerous. Maybe, maybe, maybe all I do here is just throw a fireball in there. Actually, this will be a really good fireball. That should that should destroy them. Uh, no delay. Oh, look at that! 74 damage. I knew it was possible. This would literally kill Christina if it hit her and she didn't roll a save. <laughs> and fella, and Pixel, and Bella. <laughs> oh, I love those delayed blast fireballs. All right, now fella, you need to stay alive here. Gotta start killing these guys off quick. I would love to get some backstabs. Oops, that was kind of a mistake. I'm trying to remember who attacked last. Nice! We got a backstab for 90 damage. Okay, let's finish that guy. Okay, you're gonna delay. I, if I can set this up, I want to backstab the Golden Warrior. You know what I forgot about? I didn't interrupt any of those priests. Okay, it didn't work. We're fine. Oops, that was a mistake. I think because Ceres took damage, he was unable to uh, do a backstab. So this is the new turn, He's, he went first, so we delay. I really need to heal Fella. Shinga... Can't heal a lot, but maybe it's better than nothing. Oh, this'll do it. As long as we can get this spell off, he'll be fine. Alright, now, you smack that guy around. Fail to smack that guy around. Oh, I didn't actually mean for me to engage him. Oops. Let me heal Pixel a bit. Ah! Don't hit me! Nice! I was worried with a minus 10 AC we're gonna have a really hard time to hit him, but that wasn't too bad. And I did get at least one backstab, so we got that for us. 90 damage backstab. I mean, it would've been really awesome if we could've hit the boss with it, but we just couldn't set it up in time. Alright, that was a pretty tough fight. That was cool. Good amount of XP. Christina is very nearly at a level up. There's probably some good stuff here at the bottom from the boss. Jewelry, we can share that. I want to take like at least one set of plate shield sword. It might just be the same stuff that all the other guys had, but like I've said before, I'm pretty sure the way that these old games worked is like the special loot was always at the bottom. But there's no way of telling right now if it's like I can cast detect magic and it'll say all of this is magical. But there's no way of knowing which ones are plus two or three or possibly even plus five. The boss, though, probably had really good stuff. And I definitely can't just carry it all, so that's not gonna happen. Ah, uh, Another one, huh? Embossed in brass with the head of a Medusa, to the side is a silver sculpture of a Hydra's head. Well, so far... So far, we've used a silver key and a gold key. So let's try a brass key. Yay! We just had to use the one we hadn't used yet. <laughs> There's an audible click as the door rolls open. The embossed Medusa seems to wink as she slides past. Who's she winking at? She's winking at us because it was a trap anyway. Within this room are some of the largest Hydra you have ever seen. 16 headed? They've got four more heads than the last group. I <laughs> wonder if that means they hit harder. It's 
probably a good time for some uh, coals of cold. I mean, I wouldn't expect fire to work great, but. Okay, we'll cast it kind of this direction. That's not a great cone of cold. Maybe they resist ice too. Um, guys, guys. Okay, well, unlike the 12 headed Hydras that only hit for a few damage and seem to only hit you a couple times, that one attacked me like eight times in a row. So I got murdered by a, uh, a, a 16 headed py pyrohydra. That's, that's great. They don't have a lot of HP, but uh, they seem to hit a lot. If they get more turns, someone's gonna die. Okay, Pixel, you got my back, right? You're gonna bandage me, thank you. So I don't actually die, and then Shinga will guard my corpse. Wow. It's amazing just how many times they get to attack. I, maybe it is 16 times. <laughs> Hard to believe that they'd give an enemy in these kind of D&D games 16 attacks per round. But maybe that's what they do. Alright, well, I mean, I nearly died, but it turned out okay, I guess. I'm just down bleeding. I was just bleeding to death. Still not the greatest XP. So, uh, who's got some spells ready for me? Christina, you, you're out of heals. Pixel is not the right one. I don't need Ray's dead. Actually, what we can do here is, um... We can just use a little one. This will bring me above, like, basically I'm at zero HP right now. Uh, if I do this, that'll heal me, and then I can now cast the spells I've learned. Like, full heal. Alright, so, let's uh, maybe save it, <laughs> and continue on, because this is, well, actually, I should probably end the episode, it's been 30 minutes again, so it's a good point. Um, let's try a heal here, fix, and let's rest for like a day, see if this is a possible or not. If I can, then I'll just restore my spells. Yeah. Well, 22 hours gone had gone by, we would have definitely have, if I had spent the time choosing all the spells to remember, which just takes a lot of messing around, uh, we would definitely have learned all of our spells back. It only takes like 12 or 13 hours, so we would have been fine. So more guards of the Dreadlord have awakened from the ice and tracked you down, but we've had a chance to rest up and we're just fighting a quick... Wow. It's basically nothing. Hey, are we... Are we... No, we're not playing cards. We're on the Tantalus, right. We're in the, uh, the Opera House. Opera... Airship. That's right. Just it reminded me of the uh, the card game for, for first thing. All right, so I don't need the money. Okay, so we were successfully able to rest. As far as I'm concerned, 22 hours is more than enough time uh, to not feel like we cheated that. The game let us fix to heal, and then next time we will go through this door. And um, I should save it. I kind of have a feeling that this might be the last couple rooms. I, I tried not to look at the hint book very much when I was looking up that password, but um, I'm calling. I was calling this floor this uh, level three. Uh, the guide was calling this the upper level, like lower, middle, upper. So this could be the last one, and we could be the last couple rooms in this floor could have the boss in it. So possibly next episode we'll wrap this uh, this game up. Maybe. It might be more than that. I don't know for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed and have a great day.